Hello fans, it's your boy NASCAR Dallas Cowboys fan back at it again with another video, but a very well we got more very special die cast review. We got a lot of die cast here in the bag. As you can see, oh uh yeah, so let's get this open with this is a die cast review on a Bristol night. Okay, now before we start off this diecast review here today, um, I got five next gens. One of them's an Xfinity car. So, I'm gonna line them up, these cars in order. And boy, I got herself a treat today. We completed Hendrick Motorsport with the official paint schemes today. And well, yeah, we finally completed Hendrick. But first, starting us off is, well, we got ourselves another Kevin Harvick. This time, it's his number four. Four Hut Brothers Pizza Ford Mustang Next Gen from Wave 3. I don't have none of these cars. Yeah, I don't have none of these cars. I only have this one. On me. I'm kidding. We got a lot more. I don't. These are like all from the boxes. Like the one. Like for an example. Bushy. Alright, I'm fine. I'm kidding. I got half of Wave 3 under my hands. Uh, here's Kevin Harvick's number 4. My uh, brother's pizza. I missed out on this car last year. Luckily, I finally have my hands on a next gen version. Paint check, it looks phenom. What the hell? What the hell was this? Are they starting to have the rooftops on them? That's so crazy. Hold on, let's do a chassis check real quick. Oh no. No. There's something wrong with Harvick's bet. Are you serious? A horrible way to start off a diecast review, y'all. Kevin Orvik's back tire on this. Like. Oh, no. You gotta be kidding me. Probably like to spray some WD-40 in it. Uh, for that room. Car, but it, it is like. I don't know what. Is there? I think there's something wrong with one of the.
Cause I'm checking on my. You gotta be kidding me, fans! I'm sorry if this diecast review is taking so long, but what a horrible way to start it off. Kevin Harvick's number four, Hot Brothers Pizza, with both back ends not working. Horrible way to start it off. Um. I'm kind of mad. No, I'm I'm definitely mad, but cross your fingers that all the other diecasts do not have it. But we got Josh Berry, Tire Pros, love love the drive, Xfinity car. Cross your fingers that this time this one doesn't have any tire issues. I really like the sticker of Tire Pros number eight. Chassis check. Oh, yeah, these chassis are more better. Fuck you, Kevin Harvey. Fuck you, you piece of shit. I'm kidding. Um, we're, we are going to try to fix up this Kevin Harvey car. Like, front tires work. Back up. I think I may need to. Sp I don't know if I may need to talk to one of my buddies about this. Um. Let me try to. Wait. Press. The tire is waking a little bit, but something. Wrong with the she forgot that we do for you. But like it's a horrible way to start it off with Kevin Harvey car. First, that that hasn't happened to me in a long time where tires do not work on a NASCAR. Twenty twenty one was a clean slate for us, but now twenty twenty two's next gen car that made me kind of mad. We're gonna back it up right here. Now we're gonna. Hope this one doesn't have it. Chase Elliott's number nine. Hooters. Number nine. Chevy Z01. Fun fact, this is a paint scheme that we'll be running in tonight's Coliseum race at Bristol. Did, was it Kevin Harvick? The Harvick package was perfectly good until, like, the damage and everything. Oh. And we got a squeak on Chase Elliott. It's all right about that, but... Hooters, Sticky, I believe they dedicate this one to the old paint scheme. Probably, I don't know. Same thing they added on Harvick, this little hood thing for the camera. Hooters. I actually kind of like the back on it because it says follow me to Hooters. I, I actually kind of love this paint scheme. Chassis check. Even though it has a little squeak in it, it's all right. It's all right. I don't care about the squeaks. I care about the tires. Fuck you, Kevin. I'm kidding. All right. Uh, Chase Elliott's number nine, Hooters. Chevy Z01. We got another Toyota under our hands. We got... Bell boy, Christopher Bell was number twenty. The Walt, Toyota Camry. This is the second one because we got Bushy. Then we're gonna uh, compare how many, how much next gens will we have? Will Chevy beat the Fords today? We don't know because in the next gen uh, diecast review series so far. Apparently, the Gen Chevys are beating the Gen Fords. 
DeWalt sticker says CB on it with a 20. Now let's get out Christopher Bell. I'm really digging the DeWalt paint team. Like, they did pretty good on it. Tires feel. Yeah, they're good. Chassis check. Oh, yeah, chassis are good. Christopher Bell's number 20, DeWalt. Do you know what I mean? I keep grabbing the Kevin Hart card. I don't know why. I'm so addicted to this card now since. Both sides of the tires do not work. So, like, when I move it around, you can tell it won't go. The last few... The last few times this happened to me, I had to move the tire, like down like that but this one it's clearly like stiff all the other times I have this problem is where like paint got like the dried up paint got stuck up into it from the, the die cast this cry doesn't Look like it, but Terry had a same issue. One side was lopsided, one side wasn't. So maybe need to go talk to him about that. But Willie B, William Bynes, number twenty-four, Exalta Chevy ZL one. But, uh, is Willie B digging the neon on it? Alright, cars. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Paint check. I love it. So, they actually came out with the test cars and they have Willie B. I'm not going to get that. I can't even find that paint scheme anymore. I went to, uh multiple stores and went to go find the test wave nothing now i only found the chevy and chris bush and mustang but no hey at least we got our hands on the 2022 william byron chassis check you this is so phenomenal willie by william byron's number 24 exalta chevy z01 this leads up with the final car of the day then we're going to compare the Fords to the Chevys. We already know Toyota's in second. And you already see who it is. Bowman the Showman. I'm really digging the sticker. They could have done more on the sticker, but... Hey, sticker's a sticker. All right, now Bowman. Oh. See, if you look on Bowman's packaging... This side's damaged. So, cross your fingers, that doesn't do nothing to the... I would all... Good with the die cast. Paint check. I love this ally paint scheme. They did white on it. And everything. So... Yeah, I actually love it. So, before we get into uh, the final review of the die cast, we are going to switch around, line up all the die casts in three, two, one. All right, yeah, as you can see, the Chevys are in the battle to win the next gen battle with a total of. Oh, wait, is that. Is that look gens? Yeah, I believe, hold on, wait. Do you have a duplicate of... I have a duplicate of that car. I don't know why I got a duplicate of that one. I don't know. But, um... Let's see how much the Chevys have. The Chevy have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The Fords... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 
for the Chevy Zoo winning the battle, but the Toyota sadly with two and makes that a total of, we're gonna, let's see, so we have 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 Gen 7s. So basically that's like, is that on the Gen 7s? I, yeah, I believe, the, I believe so. But let's uh, look at the final die cast. Got Chase Elliott's number nine, Hooters. Alex Bowman's number 48. Ally Chevy. Willie B's number 24. Exalta. Christopher Bell's number 20. The Walt Toyota Camry. The piece of shit. Kevin Hart number four. Hyper Brothers Pizza. Um, one other thing about this car. We will be doing updates on this number four car. Heads up on that, so. No need to worries. And. Yeah, and that's all about the next gens. This has been a diecast review, y'all. We are going to have more updates on the number four. Uh, Brothers Pizza, but this is Diecast Review. Thank y'all for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, I will be doing a live stream with Terry to make sure if it's possible to put WD40 in a NASCAR 164 scale diecast. But yeah, we have up more updates on the number four. Have a great day, fans. I'm so sorry. Um, the we, we cut it off on this real quick. There's actually a total of 20 next gens. I forgot to add Cindric in. So, um, yeah. I'm, I'm so sorry about that. But uh, now have a great day.